<laughs> Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we are up quite far north in Scotland in a place called Galsby. So we've driven just through past Inverness and and up. So we're on the coast. It is really windy. Plan was to get up this morning, just head out on the bikes, but there were a few rain showers and the wind's a bit stronger, so we thought we'd just wait until it's a bit calmer, which is probably about now. So I believe this descent, I've certainly heard it's um, the longest man made descent in the UK. We're going to start just here, and it's one climb all the way up to the top, and the descent, I believe. Starts, if you can see in the distance, there's a monument at the top and it just comes down from there all the way back down to, to the car park. So just get the bikes ready and we'll head up. And off we go. So just starting the climb. From what I can see, the trail's just over five kilometers long and just over 400 meters of descent as well, which is decent. I don't know if it's definitely the, the longest man-made descent at the moment. Bike Park Wales may have trumped it, but it certainly is up there. Not often you start climbing, you've got drops. Up, just a bit rolly thing if you want. Climb is really nice so far. It's more like being like single track and not too hard, just easing its way up and not too technical yet either, but got a feeling that's coming. Don't normally ride trail centres, but I've heard this has got a really natural feel to it. You've also got sea views, which you really don't get in many places. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. I can see the sea. Awesome. Pretty sure there'll be a much better view from the top though, so we'll keep going. Probably opening the wrong side. Five minutes later, Thomas has managed to open the gate. <laughs> Fishing my luck here. <laughs> Incoming! Ah! We're almost at the top! <laughs> Last section up to the top, bit tougher. Just a wee bit steeper, but we've got a really strong headwind against us. So there's so much resistance. Just round this corner and I'm hoping we'll be at the monument, ready to start the descent. The wind behind us now. Is this what an e-bike feels like? Absolutely flying along, well, at least it feels that way. Just arriving, statue. Incredible. These are pretty awesome. So just starting a trail now, it starts just along from the monument, there's a wee shelter and off we go. Right? I'll try not to fly away, it's crazy windy. Wheels on the ground for sure. Off we go. Just stopped to get a wee 
run of this berm a wee shot but it's so windy that the wheels are actually getting pushed from underneath me in the berm I think it's meant to be gusting up to 30 40 miles an hour today so yeah maybe don't do it on such a windy day <laughs> shelters here. The top berms were amazing, so long and sweeping but it's just a bit too windy to enjoy them today. Woohoo, rocky! Glad it's a dry day. It's raining earlier but the rocks are pretty dry which is good because looks like it could be pretty slippy if not. Technical, technical. Ooh, some rocky steps. So this bit's a bit more undulating. So I'm up and down over the rocks. Got to put a bit of effort in. Um, top bit was more sort of flowy. We're getting more, a bit faster now. in here. Oh, missing out some of the features. Okay so I'm finding for a first run without knowing the trail it's really hard to to go over stuff when you don't actually know what you're you're riding. Whoa that's slippy there. But I guess when you're not in a rush you can stop go back and do some of the drops. Uh, do some of the rock sections again when you have seen what's behind them. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ugh, bit of an effort. Oh, oh slippy rock! <laughs> yeah, there's lots of options. You've got to take the more interesting ones, I think. I don't know, that looks pretty good in the lift, actually. These rocks are greasy. Can Thomas make it? Can he make it? We dab. Oh, that, that is pretty fucking tight. Yeah, I can't make that either. I just don't want to touch the brakes because the rocks looked really slippy. Yeah, it's a bit more flowier through the wood section. It's a wee bit overgrown because we're doing it in summer. Getting battling some of the bushes there. Oh, okay. Next section it says jumps and drops. Probably says that in the mall actually. But I think there are some tables somewhere. Woohoo! 
here didn't quite make the landing for that one. What's this? Hop it. Hop it. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> in places oh you got it and then just suddenly the back or the front just decides to to go what's there it's just some slabs got lots of options all the way down this just kind of cool nice and fast Good fun wee bit. Oh, we got a drop. Okay, so there's a table, but there's been a bit of an uphill here into it. Uh, it's put so much effort in to get any speed here. I think it's quite a steep table as well. Woo! Yeah, it was, and I didn't really have much speed there. Excuse me. Right there, right there. Regrouped with Thomas. <laughs> Woohoo! That was uh, <laughs> that was good. Almost! <laughs> I tapped the brakes a wee bit before it. <laughs> But I went a lot further than I expected. <laughs> Whoa! Go for it! No, you go for it! Oh no, you, you go for it! Longer, you should go first. <laughs> okay, ready whenever you are. Alright, I'm coming in. Oh my god. Okay, woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Just trying to look where I want to go. Keep going! Stop showing off! Keep going! <laughs> Down the... The next bit, I think we're almost down. We've, we've descended there for a bit now. Around the corner. I think the road's just down here. Yep, there we go. Back to the car park. That's us back at the, the car park. Pretty long descent, so yeah. Um, it was very much drill centre, but with a natural feel to it. I would probably, if I could compare it to somewhere, I would probably compare it to, similar to Comrie Croft. So if you've been there, you will like this. Um, lots of rock slabs, going to keep the speed going in places, keep the flow going. I would definitely recommend picking a day that's not as windy as today if you want to properly enjoy it. You certainly can ride it in that, but uh, the top exposed bit is a lot more enjoyable when you're not getting swept away with the wind. <laughs> so yeah, pretty, pretty long descent, spectacular views. So if you're up this way, it's worth doing, um, even if you're just doing it for, for views and um, the riding's a bonus. Um, personally, I found it a wee bit uh, hard going um, on my aerial. It was fine, um, but if you've got a trail bike and you could pick, definitely the trail bike. Um, and I also think if you could ride it a second time, it would get a lot flow more flowy because you know what's coming, you can commit a bit more to some of these slabs and rock sections. It was quite hard today not knowing what was behind them. Didn't want to go straight into it and end up in a heap at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that gave you a, a flavour of Galsby up north. <laughs>